we now know the three main elements of a mechanical control system a mass a damper and a spring but how do these elements act in the case of a translational mechanical system well my name is rishi ramju and welcome to the backbench engineering community where i make engineering easy for you so let us ask ourselves that obvious question how do the three elemental components of a mechanical system act in the case of a translational mechanical system oh let's find out so the first elemental component is a particular mass so let us assume that we are placing a particular mass like this on top of a particular surface like this let this be a particular mass of mass m and now let us assume that we are applying some force over here and we're trying to push this particular mass so therefore when a force is applied over here what we observe is that this particular mass it starts moving in this particular direction so when we apply a force here this particular mass starts moving and therefore it will undergo a certain displacement in this direction and therefore with this particular force it will have a particular acceleration towards this particular side so therefore as we are applying this force here this particular mass undergoes certain acceleration and therefore when this particular mass moves in this particular direction we observe that there is some kind of an opposing force acting in this particular direction like this and that opposing force is given as f is equal to this particular mass m into this particular acceleration a that is f is equal to m a but 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 we now know that acceleration is the second order derivative of this particular displacement so therefore we get f is equal to m into d squared x by dd squared so therefore this is the force the opposing force that is here that is present while we apply a force on a particular mass so now let us now take the case of a particular damper so here let us consider a particular wall like this and on the wall let us assume a particular damper like this and let this damper have a damping constant b so now here let us now apply a particular force in this particular direction for this particular damper so when we apply a particular force over here what we observe is that it would move with a particular velocity in this particular direction v and it would also undergo a particular displacement in this particular direction which is x so therefore here for a particular damper here the restoring force would act in this particular direction that is when we are compressing this damper when we are applying force on this damper this damper would tend to restore to its original position and therefore when we apply this force a restoring force would act in the opposite direction and this restoring force is given as f is equal to this particular damping constant b into this particular velocity v but 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 here also we know for a fact that the velocity is the first order derivative of the displacement so therefore we get this is equal to b into dx by dd then now similarly let us now take the case of a particular spring so let us consider a similar wall like this and let us assume that we are connecting a spring over here and let this spring have a constant say k and now if we are applying a particular force on this particular spring say f what we observe is that when we apply a force on a spring the spring compresses but when we remove that force this spring bounces back to its original position so therefore whenever we are applying force on the spring there would always be a restoring force developed inside this particular spring that is this spring would always have a restoring force back like this against this particular force and that restoring force is given as f is equal to k into x where x is the displacement with which this force displaces this particular spring so these thus are three main forces that are acting in the case of the elemental components of a mechanical control system when it undergoes a translational motion that is all these three elemental components are now moving in a straight line along a straight line that is why these are called translational mechanical control systems 
So now let us apply the Laplace transform on each of this. So first here what we observe is that when we apply the Laplace transform we can convert this into the frequency domain. So applying Laplace transform over here we would get F is equal to here we have mass M. But here we have a second order derivative. So therefore whenever we have a second order derivative we would multiply it with S squared. And now we have x, so therefore this would be x of s. So this is the Laplace transform of the opposing force that is developed when a particular force is acting on a particular mass over here. Then now similarly in the case of a damper, now let us take the Laplace transform here. The Laplace transform would be F is equal to B into here since it is a first order derivative, we just have to put 1s and into x of s. As simple as that guys. So this is the frequency domain force on a particular damper which is developed when a particular force is acting on this. So finally in the case of a spring we would get F is equal to K into simply X of S. So this is the main idea behind how you can develop a mathematical model of a mechanical control system. So first we have to find the opposing force that is acting on each of these elements that are present inside it. Once we find the opposing force then we have to find the Laplace transform. And when we find the Laplace transform things would get very simple. So in the next video I'll be discussing the same thing but in the case of a rotational mechanical control system and after that let's dig on how we can mathematically model these control systems. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as translational mechanical control systems. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.